India has also been a victim of terrorism for many decades. The country has faced numerous terrorist attacks, including the 2008 Mumbai attacks, which claimed 168 lives. India has actively been working to combat terrorism through various means, including strengthening its security apparatus, enacting new laws, and cooperating with other countries to prevent terrorist activities. However, in this war against terror, even in the face of grave provocation, India has steadfastly upheld the rule of law, rights of its citizens, and protection of human values and human rights. India is an extremely responsible power, but when the need for a hot pursuit against terrorist heavens it was, was felt, we have gone all out to destroy terrorism in our national interest. Excellency, you have in the past rejected any attempt to associate terrorism with any nationality, civilization, or religion. I think this is the absolutely right approach. Terrorism is not linked to any religion. It is the individuals who get misguided. And probably it is the duty of the spiritual and this leaders to see that they can belong to any religion, any faith, any belief system, any political ideology, but anyone who takes the path of violence will have to be, will have to be uh, countered as effectively and with all the tools that are possible. You have been a strong votary of the need to shun the path of conflict and supported peace. As G20 president, we ideated on slogan for the summit. And I would like to repeat and emphasize it. This, our catchword for that was one earth, one family, one future. Either we sail together or we are doomed to sink together. If we have to sail together, we have to cooperate. We have got to bring about that harmony, which Her Excellency you so eloquently told. Thank you.